Well, the team's now facing their fourth match in this Champions Cup group stage. A lot of uh, good football been played already, and let's see what match day four brings. Yeah, you're looking for consistency, aren't you, in these group stages, and uh, one or two teams have shown that already. I wonder if they can continue it here today. And here for you today, Juventus against Porto. Juventus, very happy with their recent form. The last game they won against Napoli. Yeah, they did play well in that 2-1 victory, and uh, I think they'll do so again. I fancy them here. Three changes for Juventus. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Medi Benascia starts with Andrea Bazzali in central defence. Milan Pjanic starts with Sami Khedira in the middle. Gonzalo Higuain is the sole striker today. And here is the team news for Porto. Alan, he's going to defend with six, isn't he? He's going to have those two holding midfield players and let the, the other four go and attack when they can. Yeah, I mean, the two lads in the middle, the two midfielders, are naturally defensive-minded players, Martin, so I don't think now naturally get forward too willingly so yeah it looks fairly cautious lineup when you look at it referee today Pedro Ortega so we're underway Champions Cup group stage match day four yeah and the early signs are that we're in for a really good match here Layun now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting Hector Herrera, Porto pushing on here, getting men forward. Excellent interception. Oh, he's through. He's got his shot off now. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. They've taken the lead here. It's almost as if they drew them onto them so that there was space to break into. And how well they used that space. And that score, he's just got too much pace for those defenders, you can see. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Corona. Herrera. Attacking well here. Doing well to keep the ball. And now the shot! Credit for taking on the shot. But well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Layun. Now he's got the ball, what's he going to do with it? Good forward play from them. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. He has cleared it well. Oh, it's a corner now for Juventus. Reviving memories of the great days under Jose Mourinho in the early years of the century. Porto. Shots on here. He's blocked that well. Well, he has cleared the danger. Juventus have the ball. Sami Kadira. Gonzalo Higuain. Well, what a powerhouse this fella is, non-stop. Yeah, he's a grafter, all right, and uh, he never gives those defenders a rest. Well, here's a chance! Straightforward save for the goalkeeper, Ica Casillas.
Well, definitely a step in the right direction for Juventus to come to a stadium that... To get the equaliser! And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Going to try one now. They could have been level. Alan, they should have been level. Well, his manager on the touchline looks fuming. He might just withdraw him soon. Look how quick he reacted. Dybala. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Felipe. Rahimi. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Layun. Played into the middle. Corona. Got in the way. On the back of a truly fantastic season, Juventus really have raised the bar, particularly for their own supporters. And they're probably not over content with the way the team have played in front of them today. But there's plenty of time in the second half for them to produce their very best. Herrera. Tackle goes in. There goes the cross. Quadrado! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And then good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, he swung his foot at it. And he's good at these one-touch finishes. And that was as sweet as a nut. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball, kept his head over it. And a lovely connection. Restarting at 2-0. Well, still chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Hector Herrera. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. And he could get away here. <laughs> Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I will be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. I think we saw from the first half, Alan, that the sides really have got down to their style of play in this group. They're uh, in now to the second half of their fourth match, of course. Yeah, and two clubs that know what it takes to progress, and uh, it's going to be an interesting match-up, this one. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. And the goalkeeper can take charge now. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Throw for Porto. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. You see a substitute coming on to the away team here. Nice return pass. Coming up on EA Sports for you, the Calcio are fixed. That will be a free kick against Pjanic. Good forward play from them. Lost his marker cleverly. Promising build-up until that challenge. Mandzukic.
Layun. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Here's a free kick. Whistle goes against Danny Alves. Up is Danny Alves. He gets booked. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as faction off. Goes for goal with the header. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Herrera. Layun. Twenty minutes now remaining. Corona. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Possession given away once more. And it's a shot now! Out in front of goal. Cuadrado. It's advantage for Juventus. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Miralem Pjanic. Nicely played through ball. And now the shot. Super stopped by the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball as well. Much happier times for Juventus these days. Fantastic Serie A triumph in the 11-12 season. And they're building on that and looking extremely good here with a very controlled performance. Back to Corona. He's reached it and turned it aside. Corner for Porto. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed his punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah. He's one of our more experienced refs isn't he and uh, I like watching him go about his work and showed his experience there he's not going to be able to carry on a substitute is coming on And he heads it for goal. Oh, no, an own goal. And at this stage, two. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often, and sometimes it does go wrong. The gap still just one goal. Five minutes left for an equaliser, or maybe to pull two ahead. And we restart the game 2-1. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. The noise levels have gone up even more, and the scenario remains the same. The one goal lead, and we're into the last ten minutes. By well, the way things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. He's got his shot off now. It's in for the goal. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. Well, that really has finished the job perfectly. They've dominated the match. Yeah, ruthless. They weren't going to go easy on the opposition. Thoroughly really professional performance.
reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scoreline. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Layoun. Felipe. And the victory today goes to Juventus. Well, you don't have to dominate a game to win it. This game is proof of that. You certainly don't. And the little scoreline in the top corner of the screen is what matters more than possession. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. It's one thing picking this lad out to try and stop him. It's another thing actually accomplishing that feat. He's in really good form. Another goal and another win for his team. Good day all round.